Diamond Distribution has cancelled all new orders. There's going to be mm-hmm. like I think it's. I'm not sure if it was this week or last week was the last time. Yeah, that new that new current that was going to happen for a while. But yeah, from, from that point, it's a case of nope, no more. Mm. Which perfectly understandable. But yeah. nothing has been said on digital, and comics find themselves in the exact same spot as movies right now. Yeah, you have the products. You can yeah. easily make the product. You know, you can put th- these out on digital, and you know, <laughs> it, it's everyone's still got it. Mainly, no one likes. No, no, not no one likes. Not a lot of people would go for digital. Like, it's probably like a half and half, maybe like a 60-40. Yeah. But you know, you have this means of distribution. But what does that mean for the rest of the industry? Well, I mean, I would say like for places like Com- uh, Marvel and DC, it's gonna be it, it's not gonna be as bad as like for like those independent comics. Those independent comics are gonna hit get hit pretty pretty hard. I was gonna um, say, I think I, the, I think the three are fine: Marvel, yeah. DC, and Image. Anything below that, yeah. there might be a problem. But like, you know, like back in the days, I used to be a physical co- uh, like collector of movies, and then I you know I slowly realized every time I moved, I had like a thousand C- DVDs. <laughs> and stuff like that to move um now i'm more selective on what i i i get physically but like i i mainly collect digital because yeah all i have to do is stop my phone and that's my my library right there um mm-hmm. it's same with comics I, I i collect what i want in physical you know like but like mainly older stuff yeah. but like the newer stuff i i just you know it's i think it's more convenient and like i would pe- i would think more companies would be like kind of like pushing the digital thing more, more especially now because yeah. money money bought on digital is more than nobody buying anything physical anymore so yeah you know and but the problem is it i think that it's happening with the movie industry and the tv industry is like you're trying to convince people to say hey these show these same things exist but they're in a digital form you know um, yeah there's like different problems for different people for why they don't like it. Some people don't like digital because there's no extras on a Blu-ray. Um, some people just don't like it because it's not physical. But like, I don't know, man. Like, I I, I think this this whole situation globally is kind of. Um, I think it's going to change a lot of industries. I say it's shining an interesting light on literally everything. Because yeah. it's like, oh, look how like this is a problem. This is a problem. Like, oh, we could do things this way. Yeah. Like, this isn't as difficult as we thought it was. All you do got to do is flip the switch. Right. Yeah. Well, I think it, it, it's, it goes with like the movie, like the, the theater industry and the comic book, you know, places. I mean, I love those things, but like you're going to start, I, I, in this is just my opinion. I think you're going to see few more, few less yeah. in a year. Like, because... like, the, thankfully the big two, or at least I know Marvel is anyway. I haven't seen anything of DC's done it or not. <laughs> um, like Marvel is trying to help out like local comic shops. Yeah, they, yeah, yeah. They, they, are, they are trying to do something. Whether that's like they're selling them the codes, yeah. and then you go to Comicsology and you do it that way. Well, you know, like GameStop's done that. No. Yeah. No, so you can still do oh, that. Which you know, great idea to keep I, like help people out. But... Oh, for sure, for sure. But then there's also like I think I I don't know about the smaller comic book stop shops, but like. The bigger places like Midtown Comics, they're starting to offer like curbside service and like delivery and stuff like that. They but like, can't do that when there's no new comics. Yeah, yeah. Um, I I don't know, man. It's I, I don't think that physical copies are just gonna dissolve into thin air any after this. No. But like, I think, I think, I think there's gonna be a lot of changes to how uh, things are put out and how people things are. are like the focus on like digital might be. The, shit. My my question is, what do you like, what do you do? Like right, say next week Marvel are like right, we're gonna put out the new comics this week all on digital. There they are. You, well, you I mean, get it. You can buy the code online or by <laughs> calling up your local shop, whatever. Then what do you do with the physical side of that? Do you just not well, release think... it, or do you then release it later on? Well, I you know what I, you could do is like if it, it's like like. You could sell the digital copy, and then like after this, uh, everything kind of picks back up. That you can use that digital copy to as like a receipt to go to your comic book store, whoever yeah. you bought it from. So kind of like a flip hey. of what Marvel do now with the free digital code. Yeah, yeah, just kind of reverse where you buy the digital, and then later, just if you want the physical, you can go back and say, "Hey, I I purchased the digital one." I don't know. I don't know how they would do that. 
because but like it, it's a, it's an option you know like yeah because like physical stuff is never gonna go away i think they're no. they're not gonna not release what like if they if they decide to sell just the digital they're not gonna not just re- not release no. a physical you'll, you'll that, always get like a, at least a trade yeah like, people Plus are always gonna the, buy trades then you also gotta the, remember like people collect these things and like you know yeah. there's gonna be a like like companies don't probably they want to as much as people think that big companies are against the consumer i mean they're not going to want to to turn around turn people away and say yeah i'm not going to release this in the physical you're just going to have a huge gap in your collection you're going to have it digitally but you're just not going to have a physical copy um plus when they when they do these things they run these comics like months months in advance so like Whatever they're selling digitally, they're gonna have a physical like, you know, stock of this of this specific comic, you know. Yeah. So, you know, it's just a matter of like when you can release it. You know, I think that's, say, that's like, how depending how long this situation goes on for. There is gonna be yeah. a point where there's gonna be no new physical ones. Yeah. So, so obviously, yeah. they don't they don't print them like that week and then ship it out. Yeah. Like it's like always. A, yeah, it's always usually months in advance where they print out stuff. Yeah, and like, but it like by the time they're sending out that one stock, that they're already starting on another one. So like, it 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 definitely disrupts it. But like, I don't think they're gonna just not do physical as long as as long as it, I mean, as long as this thing is going on, definitely not gonna happen. Yeah, I mean, as as long as it's not as bad. But like, you know, once they have the okay, the green light that they can go back to you know print and stuff like that they're gonna have a <laughs> they're gonna have like they're gonna have you're gonna start seeing a lot of things hit all at one time like hey yeah and it's, it's gonna <laughs> it's gonna be like another issue after that because everything's just yeah. gonna come crashing back it's kind of like you know <laughs> yeah. in pacific room when the bomb goes up yeah. under the water and you get that little air bubble and then yeah. it all just comes crashing back down that's where yeah. we are right now we are in the bubble okay. where everything's away and well, it's, the, the, it's going to be it's going to be a lot of casualties when that thing comes crashing back down. No yeah. one can afford to do anything, but yeah, there's I all mean, this stuff out here. It's like, well, what do you do? <laughs> yeah. It was well, the same thing. It's the same thing that's going on in the toy industry too, because like, yeah, I'm a, I'm a collector of toys, high end stuff. So like, a lot of that stuff is being like, you're there. Like some of the stuff that was supposed to be released this month got pushed back to May. You yeah. know, and then like once everything is okay to start releasing this stuff, yeah, they're going to be able to release it, but are the people going to be able to buy it anymore? Because, yeah. like, the, the economy is not going to recover in, like, 20 minutes, you know, or yeah. two days. I've been using that argument process. for the last two weeks. Because if you on Twitter, I've been saying how people should release new movies on yeah. demand. Take Universal's lead. I know cinema yeah, yeah, like yeah. owners don't like what Universal did with Trolls. Take a leaf out of their book, because someone's got yeah. to make money. Like, well, I, like I don't want theaters to go away whatsoever at all. No. Don't get me wrong. But you, if one side can make money, that one side <laughs> should make money. Yeah. Like, oh, no, sure, for sure. Yeah. Like, you can't I mean, drag the entire thing down. The 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 problem with the theater thing is though, um, like once you get the customer accustomed to just be able to turn on your TV and watch the latest movie, and not have to spend like hundreds of dollars just to just for one night, you know. Um, it's going to be really tough for these these theaters to kind of it's coax true, back in. Maybe. But at the same time, like you know, we have physical and digital. Or, yeah, we have physical bookstores along with digital books. Digital books are huge. Like, I know well, when I mean, music's kind of the outlier because you look at a place like HMV. Like how many mm-hmm. HMVs are about these days? I know the one in the city near me's gone completely. But like yeah. you know, these things can coexist side by side. Not just gonna back <laughs> no, for sure. For sure. No, I mean, look, I think we talked about this like privately before, you know, um, I'm not against theaters. Um, no, I'm just, no. I just feel like the I'm against the people. Kind of, yeah. Well, I just feel like the theaters and the theater owners and the businesses that own the theaters have kind of got a little too comfortable charging the prices um, yeah. that they do. You know, I mean, like you could literally go to one movie. Uh, you had to either go to like a middle of the day type movie to get a cheaper rate, but like you go to the nighttime, forget about it, man. Like that's a hundred dollars. See, because we don't do that over here. Like that's I've, uh, I've heard people say that a lot. If we do do over here, it's not like drastically different. 
and it's, it's like crazy, I, really. I've like the, the price difference. I'm just like, what the hell is going on? <laughs> uh, like, that is well, crazy. You can can you can easily spend a hundred dollars on two people at one movie. Um, concession stands are the worst part about it because they charge. Oh, yeah. yeah. They charge an arm and a leg for fucking nachos that you could literally go down to the street and get out of yeah. a bodega. You know? But I think I think after this, and I'm not I'm not saying that theaters are completely going to die out. I think no. there's going to be there has to be a little bit give and take with them. They can't they can't walk out of this this thing um, and reopen and then completely charge the same amount that they charged before. No, They've going to have to cut the prices. Control. Or who wants to go? I mean, even exactly. if you could afford yeah, it, is, uh, yeah. who who wants to do that? I mean, I could who go home and watch a Bel- crowd of people. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> no. especially now. I mean, but like you, you, like if if these if this VOD kind of kicks back, kicks up a, a notch or two, um, that that's gonna that's gonna test the theater system, um, in the in the people that theater change, you know, on how, like, how do you get people back into the theater? Um, paying that amount of money when I could go and sit home, pay thirty dollars for like Black Widow. I'm not saying Black Widow is going to be doing it, but I'm saying like you, because like home theater systems now. I mean, people got 4K TVs that are in, you know, like the only problem is like, like the the bandwidth's been dropped to like standard definition. Yeah. <laughs> it's like no. <laughs> but, no. But I think that I think the one thing that digital kind of um, is lacking is the experience of watching a, a a movie on a huge screen you know but you know like these theater chains have yeah. definitely got to change like, their model though that's very much an american thing i think like because mm-hmm. imax over here isn't as prolific as the states like <laughs> out of the three cinema chains near me no screen mm-hmm. like it's kind of like the screen just hasn't changed in since i've been alive yeah. And, you know, yes, everything's been upgraded, but it's not like the screens have been doubled or tripled in size. The, uh, the, yeah. the closest IMAX to me is at yeah. least an hour away or in London. Yeah, I mean, they're pretty close, like, in in in, in America. But, but the problem is, like, the amount of money that they charge, that's where the problem is. Yeah, I mean, it's like 30 quid each over here. It's crazy, America. man. Like, like... It, or at least it, when I went, it was so good. I don't know about it now, because I only went to it once, and I was like, yeah. uh, never again. I... I like I mean, as much as I love watching movies. Uh, like ever since getting married, having a kid, like you had to look at it as like, man, like, <laughs> like when, when it was when I just got married, we went to go see. I forgot where it was, but like we easily spent a hundred dollars, over a hundred dollars. That's crazy. On on one movie, and I'm like, I'm thinking to myself, man, I um, I like I literally said, you know what? I think I can wait till these movies come on Blu-ray because like I don't want to. First of all, I don't want to sit in a crowded uh, room anymore and where people are talking, you know. And then second, I don't want to spend that much money. Like, I'm not saying that this is gone. I just think that, like, after this whole, like, global thing, I think the event, it's – I think a lot of things are – a lot of business models are going to change. And it's kind of, like, kind of forced – this has kind of forced a lot of people to rethink how they do business, especially the movie, TVs, you know, industry and – and in fact, everything. I mean, like you know, so, and you know, it, that, this whole conversation just changed the names of comics and shops to yeah. movies and theaters. Movies. It's exactly the same. It's like, the like, same obviously, conversation. Yeah. Like, obviously, comic shops are. It's a slightly different comparison, but the basis is still there. And yeah, it's like, because, well, what do you do? No. Yeah, I don't know, man. You know, I I love physical I love physical copies, but uh, like living in new like the greater new york area it the physical aspect is kind of hard because like the mm. limited amount of space you have man like the digital thing it's so convenient like i just yeah. turn on my tv go to my voodoo account or go to my disney plus account and like everything's there yeah. you know like no, i i know unless... people, like i know people love to bring up like, the piracy like mm. it's not a lot of people i've talked to that brought up piracy yeah. it, it always when someone brings it up i always get the impression that they're the ones that are going to pirate it so like, it's, 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 it's only kind of like three or four people out of a thousand that reply, and I'm just like, huh, that's interesting. Just say you're going to pirate and get out of the way. But you know, like, yeah. if, like yes, piracy is a problem that they, it's a hurdle that they've got to overcome. But if you look yeah. at comics, piracy yeah. is nuts. You go on yeah. certain web, like Jim Zub has pointed this out. You go on the the the, the, the biggest comic pirate site, and you look at how many views. Yeah. And, single issue that week has mm-hmm. got compared to the sales that that gets 
Yeah. Well, it's, like, it's night and day, yet the comic industry is still going. Yeah. So, like the comic, the, the, this comic porn, this comic sites are crazy because it doesn't take very long to scan them in a comic and it doesn't no, take very much no. space to do this. So you can do I mean, like. No, it's not like they've got to scan it anymore. If one person buys it digitally, you just copy and paste the issue. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And you've got the entire uh, thing there in full uh, HD. It's nuts. Yeah. Like, I can. I, I completely agree with you. I think they can coexist. I think, but I think, I think uh, a lot, like after all this has happened, I, I can, I think a lot of uh, like studios are starting to look at the digital VOD yeah. aspect as like, okay, this is, I, I'm looking, they're looking at the, the, the writing on the wall right now yeah. because it, like, and I find it, to do it, I find it extremely interesting that onward a $200 million movie or mm-hmm. upwards to $200 million is on demand. Yes, I know it got released in theaters already. It had the unfortunate timing of being released like a week before yeah. this all happened. So it might as well not even have been out there. Yeah. So it's like, I mean, yes, it got released, but did it really even get released? Because it yeah. got released and it's like, right, 50% capacity, right, we're all closed. So yeah. uh, it, it, I, guess, I don't know. There's, I think it's got to happen. Then, then you also got the fact that it's 100% um, when they release it on these types of systems online, it's a hundred percent profit. Yeah, you know, it's a hundred percent. There's no splitting the profit with a with a with a, a movie chain. There's no. I mean, it's a hundred percent profit. Yeah. You know? there's no. And there's no worrying about the currency conversion with yeah. the chains having to split as well. So it's just on. Hey, it's on there. You pay the X amount of dollars. The X amount of dollars is theirs. You yeah. know, like it. Like, cause like when when movies come out, like they they have to like those those theater chains kind of like have these studios by the balls, man. Like they say, mm-hmm. hey, you want this on my my screen, you're gonna pay me this, and yeah. they kind of have to do it, you know. But the VOD and the digital stuff has given them a new uh, avenue and or, or new new way. It's kind of like a bargaining chip now. I think yeah. I think it's gonna be. It's going to be a, a huge bargaining chip after a year after, because it's going to take a year before the economy gets back into. Oh, at least uh, I, I, I will be feeling this for decades. Oh, for sure. You know, like the last recession that the States had, we were just getting over. And that was like a yeah, couple yeah. years ago, you know, like it just, you know, like, and then this happened and like, you know, like right now, like whatever whatever stimulus package the, the U.S. government's giving the American people is like 0.5 percent of what they would be making if they were actually working. Yeah. So it's like the bare minimum, and they're not going to take that money and go see a movie or go buy a movie. It's it's like pay the gas, pay the rent, you know, like pay the bills, you know. Mm, but like get food. <laughs> Yeah, get food if you can. Um, get toilet paper. Get the essential. <laughs> apparently, apparently, toilet paper is a commodity now too. So, I mean, who knows? I, I, I mean, I've been be... saying for the last two weeks, toilet paper is the new currency. It's yeah, not bottle I mean, caps. Like, none of that is bug roll. You got bug roll. If you, look, if, if you look at the the current the online currency exchange, I think toilet paper is like Sherman's on there somewhere. I, I mean, but, t- toilet paper is more. You know, it's worth more than the pound right now. Like how did that thing crash? Yeah. But. uh yeah, I mean, it, look, it, it's this. This is going to be a discussion for the next year. I guarantee you, man. Yeah, like, yeah. you know, like, and this includes the the comic industry because, like, once this is over, it, you don't just flip a switch and everything goes back to normal, man. Like that, yeah. that, you, you know, you, you you let people in, you start doing the work. I mean, printing takes a long time. You know, planning it. it it's it's not you know. I, I heard people saying, "Well, once this is done, everything will be back to normal." I was like, "Not really." I mean, no, nope, <laughs> no, nope, nope. I'd maybe, love it to maybe be this time next year, but like, not, not, so not I'd not actually now. love it to be a case of like, "Oh, this thing stops and we go back to normal," but is it, it, it will stop it, and go back to normal? It's just how long in between the stopping and yeah. the normal? Right. Yeah, and like the like the TV industry and the movie industry. I mean, again, it's going to be hit. Like all these all these things are hit hard uh, because. All this money, all the 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 ways they get revenue requires people to go out and do, you know, with the exception of TV, because TV you can just sit, but you have to have it filmed. You have, you know, like that's, mm. I don't know. I mean, you know, it, it's just it's a tough times. Um, I don't think, and to get back to the comic aspect, it's, you know, I think these all these back issues that are, you know, if they did, you know, I think you'll you'll see all hard copies essentially eventually, but it's just I don't yeah. think it's. 
you know, it's... it's, it's I'm a, saying, like, yeah. yes, everything has to stop, but not everything can stop. Like, yeah, yeah. If, if it goes on long enough, you will never see anything of it again, regardless. Yeah, I mean, if, you, if, this, if this continues for another year, until next year, I would start being worried about, like, physical... I, I, honestly, if this continues till next year, physical copies of comics are probably the last thing you want to think about, you know? Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. you know, I think, I think after, like, if they don't have this figured out by next year, and, like, like physical comics are probably in the back of people's yeah. minds. I don't think they care. So I, know, just I give say, it to me give it to the end of April, and you'll start be seeing people be like, right, we're, we're going to be doing this and that and this. And yeah. That. They, would, they would have figured I mean, out. Yeah, I think like people will just, well. yeah, you know, like, I can't speak for every industry, but, like, the industry that I'm in, you know, like, you know, like, it's, I'm having, like, six, seven meetings a day, you know, about how are we are going to do this, you know, what are we going to do, how, you know, planning. And, like, it, it's obvious planning, people are talking uh, about it, you know, because we've had the whole Wonder Woman thing come out where they, they were yeah. talking about it. Admittedly, a couple of hours later, they're like, yeah, no, we're not going to do it. That's because they're cowards. Put yeah, Wonder Woman well, on demand, Warner Brothers, do it. But, you know, like, they're obviously talking about it. They've been talking about it for a while. There's no way Universal would have just done it this quickly. Yeah, well, I think you have to talk about it because, like like we said, like, look, if this goes on longer, that that answer to that question from Warner Brothers is going to change. They yeah. cannot just not release that movie, exactly. you know. You know they, they, they already held off on delaying it. it for, like, they held off delaying it for a little yeah. bit as well. Like, it did, they took their time with that one. It's like, you know what? It'll be a couple of yeah. months. Like, well, like, like the the problem now is like the like when they delay stuff like this, like big movies like Wonder Woman probably won't have a, a huge problem, but like the budgeting for the uh, the for like you know ads and campaigns and stuff like that to make sure people remember this movie happened is it's mm. coming, you know, like they're gonna they I don't know this this happened a couple of years ago with the GI Joe Retaliation where they had like everything ready, they start putting out the things yeah. and then they postpone it for a year. And then yeah. people forgot the movie even existed, you know, like yeah. that. Yeah. And then you don't want to like reinvest more uh, to advertising it. If like you can't balloon a budget up to three hundred million dollars when you're only probably going to make, I don't know, one hundred fifty, you know, like yeah. that, that's a, that's a huge loss. Yeah. At some point, they're going to have to say they got to hit the button and say, hey, we have to release this movie. Because, you know, like, big, like the tentpole movies are the events like Marvel's got Empire coming out. They they have to get that out yeah. because their entire line relies on that going forward. No matter what you do afterwards, well, it's I crazy. I look, I wouldn't. I I would look. I, I don't. I'm not opposed to the digital stuff, man. If like if I have to, if I want to read something, if it has to be read, just give it to me digitally, and then I'll yeah. get, you know, like they'll fig. I mean, I think the company will figure out a a, a way to kind of like, hey, we'll buy this. You can buy this digital copy now and redeem it for a physical copy when it yeah. releases you know I say, that's, I, I, I'm that's sure the way i think they're gonna go i, I imagine they, they're i mean out. and that's good i mean look it, like like, like maybe that, charge that, slightly you, extra for the digital copy and like obviously that's the reason yeah. why and then you have like a, a stack charge, of receipt or just chat or just charge what the cover price is and yeah for the digital copy and then like that because you don't pay for the digital copy when you when you buy the physical copy yeah, exactly. you just buy the physical copies there you know mm -hmm. and if you just charge if you just like reassure the customer that this physical copy is going to be yours after x amount of days or x amount of months when you buy this you know i don't think people will have a problem you know because like they got to have th the things in motion and like yeah. if you if they you know like like you said like the whole the whole everything has because like, they it's coming that that storyline's coming up really quickly yeah really soon well, i mean so, it started the road to empire yeah. came out last week or this week this so like, well. like they they can delay it but they can't delay it for like months like no. after after a certain time they just have to they kind of have to just do it you know and say yeah. hey figure out a way you know like it i th and i'm 100 I'm sure that like i don't know but I'm 100 percent sure that they're having talks for that specific oh, yeah, thing. Yeah, everyone. You know, they're not. They, they, people yeah, so, stupid not to be having those talks, and people denying that these companies are having these talks don't understand oh, yeah, the severity on. of what we're, we're dealing with yeah. right now. They're not going to go say uh, it's it'll pass. We'll, we'll you know like they are if they're if they're like any other division like right now we're we're talking about contingency plans for contingency plans. 
Like, if yeah. this doesn't happen, we got to we have this in place. If that doesn't happen, this will happen. You know, like, yeah. that, you know, that's why, like, you just can't say, well, we'll wait it out and we'll see what happens. <laughs> you know, <laughs> like, that, yeah. that's just, that's how you run out. That's how you run a company to the ground. You know, you have to have, there's probably a stack of contingency plans for one, for that whole, you know, that whole, that whole time, you know, that whole storyline, you know, mm. because they have to, they have to have this out whatever way you whatever way it has to be has to be out yeah it has to be out by next month or something like that you know but yeah so um that's gonna bring us to the end of that topic